In our experience, self-promoting has proven to be a valuable tool in the fight against COVID-19. In particular, we've seen decreased reintubation rates, as well as a decreased incidence of individuals requiring intubation in the first place, as well as ICU care, as well as individuals being discharged home sooner from the hospital. This video is a tutorial of how to do self-proning. In addition to this video, we also have a protocol on our website. Thanks for watching and thanks for learning with us. Medical Specialists Associates, making medical education more accessible. Hi guys, Dr. Gutierrez here, working with Dr. Pascopoulos from the ICU to bring you guys a quick video about self-proning. We have been treating patients here in the ICU for about two months and we have seen great success with proning. Ventilatory status in these patients greatly improved with this technique. And we also noticed, as well as we have seen in most of the world, that these patients have a very high risk of reintubation. For that reason, we have been encouraging patients to self-prone after extubation. We thought we would make a quick video to show you some tips about how to do it. Thanks for watching. Our objective is to improve oxygenation and reduce the need for ICU admission for COVID-19 positive patients. Also, to increase the speed of discharge of COVID-19 positive patients with mild to moderate ARDS, non-intubated ICU patients, and extubated ICU patients. Benefits include improved respiratory secretion clearance, improved chest physiotherapy, increased recruitment of lung regions, and improvement of ventilation perfusion mismatch. We recommend that patients follow a one hour prone to two hour supine ratio. This can be done six to eight times daily with no sedation and with routine monitoring by nursing and respiratory therapists. Contraindications include objective respiratory fatigue, immediate need for intubation, unstable hemodynamic status, or inability to cooperate with proning. Here are some practical tips. Place a board under the mattress of the bed. This will allow for reduction of the hyperextension of the neck while using a face pillow as shown here. Face pillow allows the face to rest comfortably within the space provided. If you do not have a face pillow, you can use a regular pillow and place it under the chest. Once this is set, the most important step is to recognize all the lines the patient has and make sure that each line is taken out properly and safely. Also, make sure you have replacements for some of these parts. Next, you'll ask the patient to move up into one side of the bed in order to allow for space for the rotation while also ensuring the lines are properly placed to one side. Next, simply reconnect all the lines and make sure the patient is comfortable in the current position. If possible, place the patient in a swimmer's position as shown here and alternate every half an hour or so. And what we wanted to show you here is that on our website at med-specialist.net, you will find a search function in the top right-hand corner of the webpage. If you were to type in protocols, you will be brought to a page of all of our protocols, but in particular, you will find a protocol for self-proning there. Thank you for watching. Please consider sharing your suggestions or comments with us at the email address listed. And please also continue to visit with us at our website and our YouTube channel. To be instantly notified of when we release new content, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel as well. Thank you.